Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well. My name is Keeti and today we will talk about impact of COVID-19 on Indian economy. That is where is India's economy headed? COVID-19 has impacted everyone in one or more other way. It has minor impact on someone or major impact on someone else. But economy is the one that was most impacted by COVID-19. And here I'm not just talking about Indian economy, but the economy of the entire world, even the economy of the developed countries like America and Russia, they were impacted majorly by the COVID-19. So here we will talk about that how it has impacted Indian economy, what were the major sectors that were impacted by it and where we stand today. So let's start with it. The Indian economic, the economic impact of the 2020 coronavirus pandemic in India has been largely disruptive. India's growth in the fourth quarter of the fiscal year 2020 went down to 3.1% according to the Ministry of Statistics. The World Bank and rating agencies had initially revised India's growth for financial year 2021 with the lowest figures India has seen in three decades since India's economic liberalization in 1990s. On 26 May, Fissel announced that this will be perhaps India's fourth recession since independence. The unemployment that was already in large number in India before COVID-19 has rose from 6.7% on 15 March to 26% on 19 April. During the lockdown, an estimated 14 crore people lost employment, while salaries were cut for many others. More than 45% of households across the nation have reported an income drop as compared to the previous year. The Indian economy was expected to lose over 32,000 crore every day during the first 21 days of complete lockdown. Supply chains were under great pressure, even they weren't sure about what is what is essential and what, what, is, what is not. Informal sectors and daily wage groups have been, been at the most risk. Up to 53% of businesses in the country were projected to be significantly effective. A large number of farmers were, who grow perishables has also faced uncertainty. And the major companies, the companies that I am talking about here is the one that have large market capital, large revenues and large number of employees such as Larsen and Turbo, Aditya Villa Group, Tata Motors and etc. significantly reduced operations. Young startups have fallen as the young startups have been impacted as funding has fallen. Young startups who already require a lot of patience and hard work before COVID-19 to grow. Now they have impacted worsely because the funding has been fallen. FMCG companies, that is fast moving consumer goods company, have reduced their operations and now they are just focusing on, fo focusing on essential. As no one was going out during the lockdown, everyone was at their home. The focus of everyone was that it's essential and that is what FMCG goods took advantage of. Now the stock market. The stock market, that is is majorly impacted by the COVID-19. Economy and stock market are interrelated. What happen, happen, whatever happens in the economy, stock market bears the consequences and it shows the worst losses in history on 23 March 2020. However, on 21st March, one day after a complete 21-day lockdown, Prime Minister Modi ji announced that Sensex, Sensex and Nifty, that is the index of BSE and NSE, posted their biggest gain in 11 years. Now, this for the majorly impact of COVID-19 that we just read briefly, but there are much more. Like they were like the tourism, they were also affected mostly by the COVID. They were also affected majorly by the COVID-19. Tourism that contributes to a good that contributes a good percentage towards GDP was stopped completely because of the COVID-19. Nobody was going outside the country, and no one was coming inside the country. So it has also faced, it has also fallen sharply. Now we will look at the impact of COVID-19 on various, sorry, on various sectors. We have seen the impact, we have seen the briefly impact of COVID-19. Now we will particularly read about the sector. So the first sector is export and import. Export are the goods that we sell to the other countries. Import are the goods that we buy from the other country. Now 
sector, India's export in April 2020 fell by minus 36.65% year on year, while imports in April 2020 fell by minus 47.36% as compared to April 2019. Since nobody was going out, even the whole world was under lockdown. The goods that were produced that are that were produced in country was not were not enough for even the for the own country. So how can it be? Now how can be enough for export and import? That was the main reason that the export and import started falling. The next sector that was majorly impacted is energy. Night lights and economic activities are connected. In Delhi, night light radiance fell thirty seven point two percent compared to one to thirty one March two thousand and nineteen. This was the biggest fall for any metro in India, followed by Bangalore. Bangalore thirty two percent, while Mumbai dropped by twenty nine percent. Even the India's fuel demand in April twenty twenty, as compared to the two thousand nineteen, fell nearly forty six percent. Consumption of fuel was the lowest since two thousand and seven. Cooking gas sales rose approximately twelve percent. The diesel demand also dropped by approximately six percent. By half first of June twenty twenty, India's fuel demand was eighty to eighty five percent of what it was before the lockdown. Oil prices that were rising sharply before COVID nineteen also dropped in two thousand and twenty following the COVID nineteen pandemic. Demand also fell sharply. What demand also fell sharply. So the next sector that we are going to talk about is agriculture. We all know that agriculture is the backbone of our country, and it is considered as an essential. But COVID nineteen has a major impact on agriculture. A study during the first two weeks of May month by the Public Health Foundation of India and the Center of Sustainable Agriculture found that ten percent of farmers could not harvest their crop in the past month, and sixty percent of those who did harvest reported a yield of loss, and that a majority of farmers are facing problems during the lockdown. Even the Darjeeling tea based industry saw. Significant fall in revenue. Tea exports could see a yearly drop up to eight percent as a result. March twenty twenty, tea exports from India fell thirty three percent in March as compared to March two thousand and nineteen. During the lockdown, food wastage increased due to the effective supply chain affecting small farmers. During due to the lockdown, even the transportation was not moving. The farmers were not able to sell their products to the market. They were not able to reach the markets due to that. Many foods, many crops were wasted. Farmers were out of money. They were not able to. Eat, they were not able to eat proper food even for a single day. They were impacted majorly by the COVID nineteen situation. Now the next sector that come is the manufacturing sector. As we talk about the companies, the companies, big companies having large market share, high revenue, and high number of employees like Larsen and Turbo, Rete Bill Group, Tata Motors, etc., reduced operations in the number of manufacturing facilities and factories across the country. iPhone producing companies in India also suspending a major majority of operations. All two wheeler and four wheeler companies put a stop to production till further notice. Many companies have decided to remain closed till at least 31 March, such as Cummins, which has temporarily shut its offices across Maharashtra. Hindustan Unilever, Dabur, ITC shut manufacturing facilities except for the one essential. As I told you, that everyone was just focusing on essentials, and that what the companies took advantage of. This was the only thing from where they start. They generated their revenue, but that was not even enough. They faced a huge loss in their And their revenues, their revenues fall drastically in 2020 because of COVID-19 pandemic. The next thing comes is stock market. As I have told you, that whatever happens in economy, stock market bears the consequences because they are interrelated. On 23 March 2020, stock market in India posed worst loss in its history. Sensex fell for 4,000 points, that is 13.15%. And NSE Nifty Nifty fell one one five zero. That is two point nine eight percent. On eight April, following positive indications from the Wall Street that the pandemic may have reached its peak in the U.S., the stock market in India rose steeply once again. By twenty nine April, Nifty held the ninety five hundred mark. But that was that was not enough. We have seen that even with the COVID nineteen cases are very high in U.S.A., stock markets show very very. 
variations during the covid-19 situation that is during 2020 The next sector is e-commerce sectors. E-commerce sectors includes Amazon, Flipkart, Grofer, Big Basket, Nike, etc. That is our online shops. Now, announced Amazon announced that it would stop sale of non non-essential items in India, so that it could focus on essential needs. Even Flipkart temporarily suspended some of its services on a on its e-commerce platform and would be selling and distributing essential only. big basket and grofers also ran restricted services facing disruption due to the lockdown delhi police began issuing delivery agents curfew passes to make it easier for them to keep the supply chain open e-commerce faced many difficulties because people were under the lockdown they were short of money incomes were income has fallen many people lost their em- employment because of that the because of that people had stopped shopping they were not buying from these platforms from the online shops their revan- their revenues fall drastically even the people working or under these companies even they lost their jobs because the because the company own cannot generate revenue for themselves they have other sectors as well that is defense and and tourism that we have talked about in defense the department of military affairs led by the chief of defense staff postponed all capital acquisition until the coronavirus pandemic needs because no new major defense deal would be made because they were out of the money See, the government itself was not having any money to spend the next one is the state income and expenditure it was not just the people who were out of money but the state as well state government incurred huge losses to the extent of having to cut capital expenses the delhi government has fallen 90% short in taxes as compared to 2019 and is planning to take loans and raise taxes in certain sectors maharashtra put a hold on all new capital work till march The income of Madhya Pradesh government has fallen by 85% in April, and their borrowing increased because the state government were not having any income to spend. The Delhi government, as well as the Andhra Pradesh government, imposed a 70 to 75% corona extra tax liquor. We all have seen that when after two or three months the liquor shops got opened, the people were standing in the long queues in the long line just to buy the liquors. The excise duty on liquor is the third largest source of income for a number of states, nearly 10 to 15 percent of total tax collection for some state. These direct these taxes help the government to generate some revenue for the for themselves so that they can spend somewhere. so these were the major sectors that i told about covid 19 has impacted the entire world majorly but these were the main things these were the main sectors that were impacted by it now the year the year has passed we are in 2021 and we still stand firm so now we will talk about that where we stand today that is our economic recovery in the second week of may companies started preparations for the starting operations some companies opened offices with the maximum permitted strength of 33 the beginning of june was the beginning of june saw com- companies further reopen and making plans to reopen many people told that many economists or the former RBI governor showed different kind of shaped recovery some told it will be a v shaped rec- it would be a v shaped recovery some told it would be a w u or l shaped recovery but india showed the recovery its stock market increases the manufacturing started reopening all the companies started reopening given them given the offices have been have been reopened with 33% staff with the extension of 33% drive by while other to come more cautious approach of as low as 5% company a study by elara securities in cooperation found that five indian states kerala punjab tamil nadu haryana and karnataka are contributing 27% to india's gdp as india emerges from a total lockdown on 24 july 2020 ajay bhushan pandey the finance minister secretary of india said that the indian economy could revive sooner than we expect while tarun bajaj the economic affairs secretary said that he expects a v shaped recovery as i have told you that many economists and rbi governor told various type of recovery but india has recovered a lot we have seen the worst cases in other countries the countries fellow well, countries like america and russia they are still impacted by covid 19 the deaths in india were less as compared to the developed countries india still stand firm and all thanks to our frontline workers that is our scientists our doctors and our policemen the india has 
India has started vaccination also. They have created the vac vaccination just in 10 months. And even in two months, million of people were inoculated. The COVID-19 has impacted the economy majorly that I have shown you, the sectors. But today also, but as of today, we stand firm. We Everything is very is well better in India as compared to the other countries, as compared to the world. Many the, the World Bank shows, the World Bank told that India is going to face a lot of difficulties. It shows a million of people that were going to die, but the rate is still low in India. And thanks to all the people and all the frontline workers that helped us. So that's all for today. I, I hope that my knowledge will help you. Thank you.